Yo YouTube, what's up? Uh, today I'm here with my sister. Jessie Lil360. Oh, that's how we, 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 call, we call you that name, don't we? But today we are doing... A tutorial! Um, on a paper fingerboard. Uh, I made one last time with uh, Harry Marchbanks, which is a friend uh, who lives down the road from us. And this is what I made. I made a paper fingerboard, which, which is, has about 20 plies on it. Still thin because we used paper. It's really strong because we used glue and it dried nicely. And it's got a nice cool depth. But that's not what, what we're going to do. Today we're going to do a bigger version and Jess is. I'm going to show Jess how to make one. So what you will need is your printed out copy. I've got a revived deck here. You Jess need, has also got the same size and design. You need some... PVA glue or a glue stick, any kind. Uh, glue. You'll need a glue stick of uh, school or school glue. Um, Doesn't matter if it's purple, like some people over in a different. Yeah. You'll need a pencil, stick. and finally, I think finally, you'll need some scissors and a ruler, and some pairs of scissors. So you and can yep, and you'll need some paper. Your coloured paper or just paper. We got coloured paper because I think it'll give the like design of it and for the actual deck we're using cobble but it's downstairs right now yeah so are we gonna get right into this dress let's go right into it let's do this okay it's just a heads up you might not need a ruler but you can use it if you want so the first step what you're gonna do is you're going to cut out your deck image like we've got the revived deck um so yeah just uh cut it very neatly it's better if you have small scissors, but I'll need to do it very carefully. Do it very carefully so you get all the way around the skateboard and you won't mess it up. And uh, you, you, you'll, you'll have a good finished product and a very high quality product like the thing, fingerboard I made uh, previously with my friend. So yeah, let's cut out this board. Alright guys, this is mine right here. I'm try you need to go very slowly to get a very good finished product. Uh, you could always uh, you could always clean it up later. But it's better to get it all in one piece. And um, before you print it out, uh, print out a couple of different sizes on the computer so you know you get your the right size. I printed out some... Um, I pr printed out half the size of the full page, or, well, 50%. And it fits my fingers just right, so I can pop tricks easily. And I think the tails will look good on it as well. I just like the design. So you can choose any design. You can you just search up uh, fingerboard deck images, maybe, and then search up revive, or you can search up almost, you can search up enjoy. But I like to search up... Revive. You can also uh, you, you can also mess around with the grip tape as well. You could either use a uh, blue tack, which is like a sticky grip tape, like on Tech Deck, or you could use cellar tape, which your body heat manages to stick to the tape to the uh, non-sticky part of the tape, and you can kind of pop easier tricks. Like if you saw my uh, cardboard finger fingerboard session. Which ha that had tape on, which is why I pulled all some tricks. Just if you're wondering, secret revealed. Uh, but Jess is getting hers cut out, and uh, yeah, let's move on to the next step. So once you have your two decks, you have to put them aside. Get your first piece of of paper or cards, whatever you're using. Actually, yeah, get your thing. You might want to draw the names on. So I'll just do that. I'm gonna put. My name, which is Sam, and Jess is going to put on her name. Just very lightly. Just, just so you know whose progress is who. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get your your deck image. You're going to place it down near the corner so you save uh, paper. And with your pencil, you're going to very, very, very carefully just draw around the deck right you need to be very careful on this part otherwise you will mess up the deck and you'll scrumple it up I don't know what so just so just take it easy and the more you do it correctly each time the more paper you'll have to get more plies out of your stash so let's uh let, let's just draw around this Uh, 
and then after you've done one you just keep going until you're happy okay. and you, you, so and then once you've uh, done one once you've done one you keep going until you think you've got enough with different colors if you want so you can just use scrap paper and then you just keep going and stick them onto the boards if you want you can get your deck image and your cut out piece and you can just line them up and you can either go oh that's perfect or you can go nope that's just go stand but it's pretty cool and then maybe you should trim it a little bit and keep it like that and then you just keep on going technically okay guys once you put on your plies You'll need a uh, fingerboard, we've got a circuit board here, and uh, you'll need a lot of rubber bands, small rubber bands if you can find them. We have colourful ones here. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to put the cards on your skateboards or your fingerboards. You're going to tie elastic bands around and I'll just show you how to do that. So how you do it is you get an elastic band, you put it over the wheels like that so you kind of have like a skateboard thing in itself then you twist the elastic band like that so have it like this twist it you'll need to do some gymnastics getting it over the wheel and twisting it twist it over the wheels like that so you have uh, your joint at the bottom twist it again then just put it over the wheel like that and then do it for three in the middle, uh, one on each end, on your nose and tail, and elastic bands where the concave is, where it goes small bit down and then the kicks there. It's got really high kicks, so uh, you can use any, any skateboard you want. You just need to leave it for a, a few days or so. And then you can use uh, for grip tape. You could use uh, you could use blue tack, and that sticks to your fingers well until it kind of gets old and really smooth and it doesn't work. Or you could use um, you could use cellar tape and put it around. And your body heat would be able to stick to the cellar tape. Like you might be able to, you can lick your fingers. Rub them together a little bit, and then it'll stick really well for a long time, and then you'll be able to pop six tricks. Six tricks. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much how you make your paper fingerboard. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope this help helps you with making a custom fingerboard. If you uh, like this video, consider subscribing to my channel and uh, click the bell. Yep, click so the bell. So you know when another video is coming out. Yep, click the bell for notifications, uh, comment for more videos, give this video a like, and a, thum and a thumbs up. Wait, click on notification and then it'll give you like a little thingy. Yeah, a thing and then just uh, and then you can say yes, out the video. click notifications, subscribe to my channel, give this video a like and comment for more videos. And I'll see you all in the next one. That's all for me guys, peace out.